I'm Duncan, uh, Duncan Summer. I studied abroad in Sweden all of last year. I did like the whole academic term and a couple months before and after. Um, I'm studying computer engineering and yeah, I'm a senior here at UCSB now. I think my future as an engineer uh, has definitely been benefited because I think of being as an engineer as just, you're, you're still a person. I think a lot of people kind of isolate being an engineer and being a person, but really they're one and the same. And so I think studying abroad for me as a person was hugely beneficial. It was amazing, fantastic, would not give it up for anything in the world. Sweden was kind of a balance between wanting to go outside my comfort zone and experience a new culture, while also kind of staying close enough so I didn't feel totally alienated. So the first good advice I could give would be go abroad. It doesn't matter where or what you study or for how long, just go somewhere, try it out, see what it's like. And worst case scenario, you find out traveling is not for you and you still have a pretty good time. Um, my second piece of advice for engineers in particular is to plan as much as you can. It's, it's really easy, I think, to sort of get really focused and plan a bunch of your classes and things and then say, okay, that's done, and then move on and ignore it for a while. But it's really an ongoing process. You have to keep looking at your classes and how you feel about your classes and uh, what you think about your professors and different topics. Because even, even one class can change what you think. I took a class in artificial intelligence and suddenly that was all I wanted to take. I needed another class like that, so I had to change my schedule all around. So it's good to be flexible, but it's also good to plan way, way ahead and look at all the options that you might have down the line. As a third point, I guess, more general is think outside the box. You know, go join a Frisbee team in whatever country you go to, or go try to meet people at random parties that you aren't invited to, or just, just do things that maybe you wouldn't think of normally, but might have really cool positive consequences in the end. Also, they don't pay for their education. It's, it's just free if you get into the college. Go Sweden!